as a junior technical staff member at a federal government department, I was responsible for the compression of a master file system. Uh, this saw the master file being dramatically reduced from about a hundred nine-track tapes to cover the national uh, customer master file down to, at the start of the year, very small files indeed of about an inch long. I thought this was a terrific thing as a young staff member that I'd been able to compress the file so dramatically and thought everyone would automatically see what a great benefit this was. Unfortunately, the first night that the system was run out, I had a panicked phone call uh, at about 1am, basically one telling me that the system had crashed because it had only run for about a quarter of a second when the operations staff running the system were used to these uh, uh, tape systems running for many hours, in fact, over, right through the night. It became quite an issue for me and I had to deal with a number of unintended consequences with staff unions and various other things because the system had gone from being so large and cumbersome to something that was so fast and efficient that it had caused major dislocation. Uh, we didn't need so many tape operators anymore, we didn't need so many tapes, the tape drives eventually got phased out and uh, disk storage got phased in. Anyway, it was a, a, a very good lesson for me early in my career that you shouldn't take things for granted. It's, it's easy to think that a technical improvement is so wonderful that everyone's just going to line up and salute it and think it's terrific. But in fact, the real benefits that come from these systems are only realised down in the trenches of the operational areas that have to live and breathe with the system every day. It's very important for IT staff to get directly involved in those operational trenches.